Shannon, and you're on my channel, oh my, and today I'm going to make some breakfast sliders <clears throat> with Hawaiian rolls. I'm going to make two different ones. I'm going to do one with bacon and then one with so pan sausage. So all you'll need is Hawaiian rolls, um, bacon, pan sausage, cheese, eggs, and some butter, and maple syrup if you want it. Um, I think I'm going to opt out on the maple syrup on this one. Um, just because when I'm done with these, I'm going to let them cool down and then I'm going to freeze them. So that way everybody can just grab one in the morning when they want or in the evening, whatever. So, you know, just one of those things. But, um, everybody likes the Jimmy Dean's ones that you buy in the freezer department. And it's just like, you don't get very many for your money. So I think I got it down to where... These are actually cheaper if I make them myself and just freeze them. The other ones are frozen, right? Anyways, so let's get okay. started. I got my skillet, and the first thing that I'm going to cook is my bacon. Um, this bacon here, it's a hickory smoked. It's member marks bacon. I got it at Sam's Club. It's one pound. I got three pounds. I think it was, oh... If I say anything, I'm lying to you guys. But I think it was like 13 or 14 bucks. I think I'm safe saying that. I think. Everything's gone up. So, it's just like whatever. It is what it is. So, I'm going to... If I can get it out, y'all. Goodness gracious. Okay, and I hear thunder in the background, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut it in half. I just bought these, so that way it shouldn't, I don't want too much baking, because I'm only going to do one package of the wine rolls, so I want to do half bacon and half pan sausage. Um... Jerry really loves pan sausage, so I'm more of the bacon person. The kids eat whatever, you know. You know how y'all know how kids are. Those youngins, they'll just eat. So we're gonna get this fried up and cook your bacon however you want. It, you know, some people like it really soft. Um, some people like it medium. You know, not not real soft, but not real crunchy. And some people like it really crunchy. So it's really up to you what you want. And so let me get this cooked and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. The bacon is cooking nicely. Some of them are starting to get their little crisp, crisp, crisp going. Now, of course, this, the breakfast sliders are not a keto-friendly um, or low-carb friendly because it does have the Hawaiian rolls on it with it. Um, so, I mean, that's just what... It, you can change that up however you want. Um, but for something easy and quick in the morning to have something on the go, you don't want to stop, you want to save money, here's a perfect way to do it, to make your stuff prep it. You know, and I've been trying to get better on doing that for Jerry and I with us working. Um, and, you know, I'll figure out ways to, you know, make our own salads to take to work because we carry an ice chest with us you know sandwiches and you know to where we're not stopping and getting fast food so this here is just something as far as for breakfast that is you know if you need it and then with with the kiddos going back to school if you're in a area that your kids are getting and being able to go back to school here's another quick one especially you know with the working parents okay when I take my bacon out, 
I will always put it on a paper towel so that it can just drain that excess fat, grease, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to set these off to the side. Let me prepare my sausage patties and I will be right back. I got this big link. It is, let me, I got to put my glasses on you guys. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Hold on one second. Let me see. Okay, I got this on. This is 32 ounces, which is two pounds. I got this at Sam Club for five dollars and some change, which is a lot cheaper than if I bought the little individual 16 ounce ones or yeah, 16 ounce ones at the grocery store. So I saved money on this. No, I'm not going to use all of it. <clears throat> I'm going to cook up. Actually, I need to count how many biscuits I've got. Two packs of 16. Okay, so 16 rolls. So I'll, I'll slice up eight patties out of this. Because I'm only going to do half. Half bacon and half sausage. So let me get these sliced up and I will be right back. So I've got them all sliced up. And there's eight of them on here. Now don't forget, while you're doing all this and getting it all prepped and ready, to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Because when you get it all together and <clears throat> the butter, and if you decide to mix the butter with the maple syrup, you're going to put that on top and you're going to bake it in the oven for probably about 10 minutes at the most, if, if that long. Okay, and then there we go. Okay, y'all. I'm not doing my sausage patties on high or medium high. It's actually a little bit below medium. So it's in between four and five on an electric stove. Unfortunately, that's what I have to cook with is an electric stove. I prefer gas, but we have electric. Um, and the reason why is I don't want my sausage patties to be real crispy or burnt or anything like that. I want them to try to stay looking like how they are. That's just my prefer preference for this dish. If it was just any other way, then they would be a blazing. But this is just, you know, and you can change it up. You can use Canadian bacon. You can use pepperoni if you like pepperoni with your eggs. You can use ham. It's whatever. You can even use lunch meat as a substitute. It's whatever you have. I haven't tried it with canned biscuits yet. That may be another something that I try in the future. But we all just love the Hawaiian rolls. And I did the sliders, the sandwich sliders out of Hawaiian rolls here not too long ago. So I thought, wow, what about a breakfast slider? I think that would be awesome. And it's doable. So, but that's just, it's just whatever your preference is. If you guys have tried making sliders out of biscuits, let me know how did it turn out. Did you guys like them? You know, did you cook your biscuits first and then put everything together? Or did you just cook your, get everything prepped and then did your biscuits and then cook it all at once like that? Let me know. And this recipe, you can bake your eggs in the oven to where you can cut them square or whatever. Or you can scramble them. Me, I'm scrambling them on this this one here. So I don't, you know, because the baking them takes a little bit longer than just scrambling your eggs up. But right there is about what I'm looking for on my pan sausage. So 
they're almost done and then I'll set these off to the side and then we'll get the eggs done. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So I've got eight eggs here. No, nine eggs that I'm going to use. Um, if I have leftovers, then I'm just going to feed the extras to our dogs. Put it with their doggy food. Because they like eggs too. And you just make your eggs however you want. Um, I probably don't even need the nine eggs, but I just didn't want, because I've got eggs in my refrigerator, I needed to use these guys up. So we're just going to use the nine. They won't go to waste, because I cannot stand wasting food. Um, I'm not going to add no cream or milk to them. Sometimes I do that to get them fluffy. But I am going to add some pepper and a little bit of seasonal is what um, I like to use. Make sure I don't open the wrong size. And then that's it. That is all she wrote. And we're just going to whisk these up. And then I will put a little bit of spray in my pan so, of course, my eggs don't stick. And then from there, I'll cook them up, get them scrambled, and all ready to go. And I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my burner on and my pan sprayed. And now I'm just going to pour in my eggs. Get those cooked up. Y'all, I got a big old watermelon in my in, in my sink waiting to be cut. <clears throat> big old watermelon. And we're just gonna get these cooked up, and then I'll be back, and then we'll be ready to um, to put the sliders together. So I'll be right back. I'm back. I've got my casserole dish that I'm going to put my stuff in and get it all ready to fit my sliders, my stuff, my sliders in. Okay, um, these I got at Sam's Club also. You get two packages of them for five, $5.69, $5.99, something like that. I don't remember, but it's $5 and some change. And I'm going to sit those in there like that. But what I'm going to do is let me find the right knife right here on my bread knife. I'm going to cut these bad boys right down the middle. If I can do it. So we're basically just cutting them in half. I'm not going to break them apart. Try not to break them apart, I should say. Until they are... Oh. Ready. You guys see I'm having some... Oh, he broke off. No, I don't want him to break off. I don't want any of them to break off. I want them to try to stay whole, but it doesn't look like he's not going to cooperate. Okay. Let me get these cut, and I'll be right back. Oh, my goodness. I did it. Only one broke, and it cracked right there a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start placing my sausage on there, because it's on top of my bacon. And they're just going to give me a hard time all the way around. Okay, there we go. I got them to fit. Okay, it has to fit. Okay, and then I'm going to just lay the bacon in there. Try to get at least two pieces per bun. Just like so. We're just going to put them on there. 
Uh, so, there. That's how you do that. Okay. Then, I got my eggs. I'm going to get my eggs and I'm going to start placing them. all around I should have chopped them a little bit kind of like that one just because the nine eggs should be plenty it doesn't look like I'm going to have leftovers so we're just going to Spread it around. Hopefully, there'll be enough eggs on them all. I cook a lot with my hands, y'all, and my hands are clean. They may not look it, but they are, I promise. The work I do, sometimes the coffee in my hands just stain really bad. But they're clean, I promise you. Okay, so I've got that done. Now, I've got just regular American craft cheese. I'm going to Put those bad boys on <clears throat> just like so and I'll get some cheese on the center of those I promise but this will be nice because they can just grab and go and if you're having a family reunion, here's an awesome breakfast idea to feed everybody. You know, I mean, it's, it's, there's so many awesome things about this. I mean, it, it's just, it's unbelievable. And if you wanted to add something with it for breakfast, I'm just taking the last ones and I'm going to cut them in half. I'm just folding them. And of course, I'm going to have a half a piece left. But that's okay. I'll give the half a piece to our prairie dog. He'll like that for a treat. Um, but you can also add a bowl of fruit with it. And there we go. It's so pretty. Okay. There's my top. I'm going to take my tops. And of course one's going to fall out. And we're going to stick it right there on top. And then I'm going to get the missing partner. And I'm going to stick him right there. And... They are good to go. Okay, I'm going to warm up. Mm, I'm going to do three tablespoons of butter, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my butter melted, and you just take a little brush, a cooking brush, barbecue brush, whatever's clean, and you got it handy. And I'm just going to brush the tops of these. And you can add maple syrup. It'll give it that, you know, that more of a breakfasty taste. But I am opting out on that one, on this time, of adding that in, just because everybody may not want it. But you can also serve it as a side, too, after you take it out of the oven. And I could probably have gotten away with probably a tablespoon of melted butter instead of three okay and then we're gonna put this in the oven for about I'm gonna do I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes but it, it'll it'll probably be less than that so <clears throat> but there we go let's get it in the oven and there she is in the oven doesn't she look pretty Okay, we're going to let them cook, and I'll be back. Okay, y'all. It is ready. Let me get my mittens and get them out so you guys can see the finish of it. And there it is. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll take my bread knife that I have and I'm just going to use a paper plate just set a couple on so you guys can see what the finished finish yummy goodness looks like and of course 
we want to use a spatula to remove them. So I'll get one of each. <clears throat> but I'm going to try and cut them to where they stay with their partner in crime. And then I'm going to come down here. And cut just like that. But this one here, the bacon's a little bit harder to cut than the sausage, of course. Okay. And then I'm going to lay that right there. Maybe the knife will pull it a little bit better. And yes. And there is what it looks like. Definitely harder to work with. Oh, I know. <laughs> the bacon one, y'all, is harder to work with, but there is what it looks like. I may not be able to do this with my bacon. <laughs> I ruined it. Oh, well, it'll still be good to eat. But, yeah, the bacon's just a little bit harder to cut. So, I'll have to figure something out on that. But, it's still, there she is. So, cool beans. Awesome. Alright, you guys. Let me know if you guys have tried this or not. If it's good. Um, we're not going to eat them. I'm going to let them cool down. And, then I'm prepping them for breakfasts for this week. So, until the next video. Y'all take care. God bless and peace.